you guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Okay, this throw is for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, um, I have not looked at where the planets are, but I have a very strong, uh, I would bet the ranch on, on this is exactly what's going on. Okay, let's look at this weekend as um, a free pass on judging yourself. Let's just look at it as uh, an assessment, right? To just see where you are, see what you do, see how you react, see how you act. Just take an honest assessment. No judgment, no, no anything. Let's just really get an honest look at where we are, right? In life as far as uh, integrity, morals, the things we want, what our desires are, uh, what would we do for instant gratification? Would we sell ourselves out? Just things like that, right? Don't judge yourself. Let's, I think you're going to be um, met with your shadow side and how well you do with polarities, right? Everything in life has a, pri a, a polarity. We, everything, right? So, so what is the main uh, game of life, right, and how we play it, it's balance. That's all that this is, is, is balance and what we do with that, right? Do we realize when we're out of balance, do we do things that we normally wouldn't do? Um, if someone was watching, would we react the same way um, if we had an audience or, you know, it's just really looking at that. Again, not judging yourself, okay? Because when we come in with the, we've got the Emperor card as our energy, okay? We've got the Nine of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Moon card, the Four of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Seven of Coins. We come in with the Nine of Cups, that is a soul twin card to the outbound card, which is seven of coins, okay? They work together. We come in with, I'm just trying to get you to see where I'm going with this, because we come in with the nine of cups, right? The make a wish. The We're going to take this just for the sake of the reading, that it's it's the wish card, and it's not the overindulgence card, right? That We're going to take it at that just for this reading. Um so it's, it's, I know what uh, the true value of value is in my life. I know the things that I value. Um, that's when life is balanced, right? Life is good. Finances are good. Relationships are good. Everything is lovely in that nine of cups, right? For, for the reading. And the outbound card is the seven, seven of coins, right? It's like, okay, now what do I do, right? Sevens are where we're usually presented with some kind of um, spiritual intervention, usually in the form of some kind of crisis, right? Crisis is something that you feel is not balanced, right? It's something that causes dis-ease for you in your life, whatever that is, right? But with the seven of coins, it's usually, it's active, it's active waiting, right? Like you're, you're not doing anything else at this time. There's nothing you can do now. You have to trust that the universe is going to give you your next step in the right amount of time, in the right direction, in the, that seven of cups can be a fall from grace if you jump ahead and you don't wait for divine timing in that card, right? That there is divine timing in that card. Um, so, it's taking what you've got, what you've worked for, what you've invested in, how you've invested it. It's, it's something tangible, right? It can be anything. It can be a relationship. It can be finances. It can be a job. It can be something you've invested a good percentage of yourself in, right? Now it's gotten to a point where it's, it's plateaued. It's not doing anything more at the moment, right? So you've just got to wait, though. Wait for the next creative hit, 
wait for a direction, wait for intuition, wait for something in that card, right? It's, it's, I can't do it at this moment for whatever reason. You're hitting roadblock, right? Which is the universe's way of saying you need to stop, right? The question here is do you stop or do you take it into your own hands and create a path for yourself without waiting, right? These are just things, I'm just pointing them out. These are just things like the kind of questions where you want to ask yourself something. Because the question here where I'm going to go with this is you come in with the nine of coins, right? Say you had everything that your, your heart desires in that card. Do you trust enough in the universe in that seven of coins to point out the right direction for you? Or do you jump the gun? Are you afraid to lose everything that you've got or do you trust that the universe will provide for you this is where I'm going guys because this is what I feel strongly is going to happen here when we don't clench onto things right when we work for something really hard of course we're working for an accomplishment when we have a relationship that we really value of course we're not going to want to sacrifice it right but the question is these are all divine gifts right? They, they come to us just as fast as they can leave us. Do we hang on to things or do we realize, you know what, this will stay for the amount of time that it's supposed to stay. It'll get better. It'll get worse. It'll shift in rhythm with the natural order of things. What do you do in those situations, right? Do you clench onto things that you know you should be letting go of, right? Do you release them and know that it'll align for you in a better way, right? When we don't hang on to things, when we're not possessed by our possessions, be it whatever, the universe will come in and it will grant you something better. But these tests are, and it's human nature, we all do it, right? We're just trying to see here where we are on the spectrum. That's all. What do we do, right? Because what happens here, the lineup, I'll, I'll go through it now with you, with the, it's, it's how integrity based are we? Uh, do we do the same things that we would do if nobody were watching or if we had a whole crowd, right? Where are we in there? Um, do we do things by the book? Do we go the distance? Do we invest in things? Do we work well with others? Do we share what we've got? Do we hoard what we've got? Um, it's just all the balances to life. The emperor, I believe, is Saturn, Saturn. I believe the moon card is Venus, Venus right so it's that it's the balancing of the energies there see what I mean they're the only two arcana cards in here so that's why I really think what's happening is is exactly this the two of swords it's again it's that balance it's that polarity between inner peace and external peace it's the you know what some things are black and white some things I need to stay in the gray area sometimes I need to bend sometimes I need to agree to disagree right the Ace of Wands is um, it's raw firepower. It's it's these are the moments. It's the spark. It's the uh, it's the temptation. It's a phallic card, right? What do you do when you're tempted? Do you give in to temptation or do you stay your course, right? That's that's basically kind of where that's going in any facet, right? Take it as that. The Three of Swords is basically, um, do I hang on to things again that I know I should let go of? Old patterns, uh, relationships, people. That Three of Swords is a is a. There's something crossing my path. How do I balance that to to clear the path? Right. It just means obstacles are in my way. What do I do? Do I wait? Do I use discernment? Do I balance myself? Do I take a step back? Do I think about it? Am I impulsive? Do I jump? Because the Ten of Swords is is a card of it can't work like this. I need to go about it, whatever it is, in a different direction, right? The Moon card is do I trust my intuition? Do I go within? Do I take a moment? Do I trust myself? Am I fearful? Does it paralyze me, right? The Four of Wands is do I get cocky? Is it uh do I work well with others? Do I collaborate well with others, right? Do I have a foundation to stand on? Um, the Page of Wands, that's, you know, he's, it's, it's creative energy. It's always doing, you know, I've got great ideas. I want to run with this, but am I balanced? Do I cut corners? Do I roll over people? 
Do I do things that are underhanded? Do I do things that are honest? Do I do things that uh, are self-serving and I don't really care about other people, right? The Seven of Wands comes in to say, now we want to look at all of this. The Seven of Coins, I'm sorry, is, is we want to assess all of this stuff, right? So you're kind of going to just look at how you handle the things that you come up with. How do you handle obstacles? How do you handle things in your life that you know you should let go of? Does fear paralyze you or do you trust in the universe? What is your trust value? One to 10, where are you on the trusting of the universe? Where do you trust yourself? Do you see the value in yourself? Do you put yourself before uh, another in a relationship? Do you value yourself more than you value another person? Do you have your best interest at heart, right? Would you hold your own hand? Would you stick up for yourself? Would you save yourself from trouble? You know, how do I collaborate with other people? Um, you know, do I work well with others? Do I compromise? Do I listen or am I always talking? Do I dictate when I really don't know what I'm talking about? Do I, um, you know, do I teach and learn at the same time? Anything in your life, look at all the different things in your life. Look at things that you feel are not, what's giving you a hard time? What's not balanced? What do you like? What don't you like? You know, what feels good? What doesn't feel good? Um, what would you go the distance for? What does your desire align with? Where do you want to go? Where do you see yourself in five months, right? Um, are you in a relationship that you are staying in because you think it's the best you can get? Or if you knew that you had door A, B, or C a year down the road and it would be your, your true heart's desire, whatever that was, would you still stay in the position that you're in right now? Or would you trust the universe to bring you what you truly desire? These are just the questions that you want to ask yourself and you just want to be honest. That's it. Nobody's grading you. Nobody's judging. We're just, we're just trying to get a real assessment here because I think what we're coming into is the floodgates are going to open. I think that the jobs, the creative ideas, the relationships, the places we want to go, the things we want to do, it's, it's all sitting here. It's just, what are you willing to do? What are you hanging on to? Or are you just being light about everything, right? Do you, do you trust that the universe is going to align with you and, and put you where you need to go? Or are you just going to settle for the status quo? Where is my emotional state? Where is my energetic state? Um, am I taking care of myself? You know, what does my vessel look like? Your body, right? Are you, are you carting around unhealthy habits or, um, do you come from a lack mentality? Do you, and by that, I mean, it, it, mm, what do I say? We're all raised with different things, right, that, that cast some kind of shadow in all the choices that we make, right? Do we buy ourselves something that we truly, truly um, work for and we should have, or do we get to the checkout line and we're thinking, oh, crap, do I really want this? I don't know. It, when we're decisive, it's saying to the universe that we don't think we deserve it, right? If you deserve something, enjoy it. Right. Don't go from the, oh, well, I don't know, you know, live within your means. That's why when you are able to buy yourself something, you're living within your means. So the guilt doesn't set in. You know, you're deserving. Right. But it's when you're uh, instant gratification. Right. It's, it's I'll buy myself these pair of shoes because I had a real shitty day, you know, even though I know I can't afford them. And then I go home and I feel guilty. And every time I wear the shoes, I feel like crap. Right. It's those kind of things. We want to get away from that. But in here this weekend, all we want to know is what do we do? What do we do when we're presented with something? Do we trust that we're just going to, we're going to do what's right no matter what and know that it's going to align for us? Or do we play the blame game? Do we think we're not good enough? Do we shut ourselves down? Do we, uh, you know, we can either be our, our best cheerleader or we could, you know, be our own worst enemy. You just want to take an assessment of where you are and then see where you need to go from there. That's all. Do you need to update your skill set in maybe how you value yourself? Do you need to update your skill set or are you pretty well set with the people in your surroundings, right? Is there mutual respect there? Um, is the relationship balanced? Is it give and take or are you the one giving or are you the one taking or, you know, are you enjoying your luxuries or are your luxuries, you know, taking over your 
you know, your life? Are they owning you, right? Um, do you feel at the end of the day that you put in your best or did you cut corners somewhere, right? Would you do the same thing if no one were watching as if they were? You know, it, it, it's things like that. And um, anything, this is just a, a baseline of, of what we're going at here because it's just, you know, what do I do in the time of crisis? What do I do when, uh, do I hang on to stuff? Do I forgive people? Do I forgive myself? Um, anything, anything like that. What do I beat myself up over? What do I need to improve on? Um, you know, anything like that. That's what's coming in here. The ace, I'm sorry, the emperor is it's masculine energy balanced with the moon card, which is feminine energy. But what we've got in here is the uh, page of wands. That's young, uh, not person. It, it's young, creative energy. It's the, it's the idea. It's the taste. It's the smell. It's the, oh my gosh, it's the travel brochure. It's the, you know, it's the nice comfy sweater. It's the new house. It's that new car smell, right? It's, it's whatever you want it to be. How do you get it? How do you attain that? Do you know that you've got to put in the time for it so that when you get it, you can really enjoy it and you know you worked for it? Or, you know, do you blow through your bank account to get it so that it sits in the driveway and, you know, you have to work now 10 times as hard, you can't even enjoy it? It's things like that. We just want to look at where we're out of balance and how do we fix that? That's all. That's all this is. Be kind to yourself. Look at this as it's really just a great assessment. It's a great time to really look at all of this stuff. And again, if you notice something comes up and you're like, oh crap, I cannot believe that it's 10 years later and I'm still doing this. Don't, don't do that. Take an assessment of it and how do we fix it? Step by step, not a, I'm gonna get divorced, I'm gonna quit my job and I'm gonna move. That's not what we wanna do. We just wanna take an assessment of where we are and then we wanna sit and get a good game plan a step-by-step, inch-by-inch game plan. That's all. Okay, so I think it's a great throw. I think it's a great, um, it's nice to be able to look at this and, and realize that what's coming in for us now is, it's great, guys. It is a great abundance, whatever that means to you. It's just where it won't come in is where we're out of balance. So, just look at where that is so that we can tweak it. That's all, okay? There's no marathon here. It's just, I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna look at this and I'm just gonna see what I need to do and then I'll get my game plan in place. That's all, okay? So there you go. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you with anything. If you hit a hiccup here, I have throws that I can look at how you get out of the gate, where you are midstream, how you are towards the end and the things that block you. So don't worry, you're not gonna not be able to plow through this, okay? So, so just take the assessment and then we'll take it from there, okay? Thank you so much, I hope you have a wonderful weekend.